eh, Michelle, ¿qué comen para el desayuno? Ok, if you're going to ask just her, how would be? Oh, ¿Qué comes right, oh, para el desayuno? So, ¿qué comes para el desayuno? Para el desayuno. Uh, yo como uh, huevos uh, oh. y um, manzanas. Muy bien. Um, and Claudia. Claudia, tú miras Little Fires Everywhere en Hulu? Uh, no, no miro Little Fires <laughs> Everywhere en Hulu. Es muy bien. Es muy bueno, <laughs> right? Es bueno. Oh, qué bueno. Okay, that, that's Claudia, I think I corrected your homework, right? You said it to me? Or no? Uh, no, you only corrected the homework three. I didn't get to that. That you missed, right? Four, yeah. Okay. So who did next? Michelle, you did your homework. Muy I bien. sent you the one from last week, too. I put it on the share drive, the third for three, week three, since I missed oh, one. Yeah. Well, the, the one that you missed, they are for everybody. The one mm -hmm. that you missed, would you mind sending by email? Because yeah. then, so I can, oh, you yeah. know, download it okay. and I can just, because the one that you missed, I know that I have to go over it. And if it's not, it gets all confusing in the, the ones that all we right. see together, it's okay to see here, right? Okay. Okay. And, ¿cuántas cocinas? Ah, okay. Cocinas la cena. Okay. Cena is the noun. Yeah. Tres veces por semana. Oh, okay. Muy bien, the rest, ¿dónde viajas? Muy bien, ¿a qué hora tú trabajas? ¿Cuándo llamas a tu familia? ¿Cuántas veces por semana estudias español con tu compañero? You mean the idioma, like exchange? With your like, partner, like language partner? Sí. O, I would say, con tu intercambio de idiomas. Oh. Because they are your classmates. You know, Got compañeras it. de clase. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. ¿Cuántas veces vi veces por semana bebes vino blanco, cuántas por semana escuchas música, cuántas veces por semana tú cocinas. Muy bien. So now you two, pick two questions for them. Okay. Um, uh, chi, don uh, vi, viajas, vi, viajas todos los años. ¿Dónde viajas? Viajas todos Vie, los viajas años. Viajas es old, an old person. Oh. <laughs> So, is it where do I travel? Uh -huh. Yeah, every year. Yeah. Let's see. Um, yo via, via ha, is it via ha? What is the present? Via ha. Via ha. Yo viajo. Via ho. Let's see. Okay. Do you remember yo, anything? Oh. Yo via donde viaja, donde viajas es tú, y donde via es viajo es yo. Ok. okay. Um, so, yo viajo en Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee. Um, miras mi familia. Ah, para ver. Para ver. Ver es tu sí. Pa so, a ver. Para a ver. Para a ver mi familia. Very good. Um, Claudia, uh, cuando llamas a tu familia uh, entra semana? Yeah. Um, During the week. Okay. Um, when do I see my family within the week? When you uh, speak to your family during the week. Oh, when you speak, I'm sorry. Um, llamo a uh, mi familia, I don't know, when do you say during, or do you just say viernes y sábado? Los viernes y sábado, muy bien. Okay. Muy bien. Y Claudia, ¿dónde está tu tarea? Sorry. I, oh, um, I sent it to you, I think. I sent well, it, I sent it back to you, too. Claudia Link. Claudia, this one. I left the three. Um, I sent you the four as well. 
It's just not like my phone. Yeah, I don't know what is the rest one. It, it's there. I, I sent it. It's um you chat sent it? Yeah. Um I, it's in the email I sent you. You saw. Claudia link? No, no, it's in the um the homework three and four. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you can check it up um in my email. Oh. Yeah, there you go. And it's in oh. four. There you go. Ah, here. Tu hablas español, estudias español, llamas, llamas is with A, -R, with A, no llamos. Okay. Llamas yeah. a tu hermano. What you mean by that? Should we call your brother? For the car? Yeah. What you mean by that? If you call your brother for the car, what you mean? Like, can you call your brother for the car? From the car? For the car. For the car? Yeah. I don't know. For, for the car, what? For to about the car, you mean? Yeah. yeah. What he wants to buy it or something? Like to get Sorry, I don't understand the question. Sorry? I don't understand oh, okay. the question. Sorry. Um, like, do we call your brother for the car? Can you call your mother? Do you like share the car? Yeah. Ah. Llamas. Llamas a tu hermano. Por el carro. Okay. okay. Escribes. Careful with the, uh, with the um, conjugation. If you write. You know, do you write, escribes, tú escribes, tú llamas, ok, a tu hermano por el carro, ¿por qué limpias la casa hoy? Muy bien. ¿Por qué vendes tu ropa costosa? Muy bien. Restaurante. ¿Cuál restaurante comemos esta noche? Muy bien. ¿Cuántas veces por semana hablamos en teléfono? ¿Cuántas veces por semana estudias? Right? Remember to conjugate. Oh, yeah. O para. This one is okay if you make mistakes in the preposition. Para el examen final. Um, ¿Cuántas veces por semana lees tu libro? Right? Lees un libro. Do you watch movie? Miras películas seguido. Cocinas, necesitas plata <laughs> o dinero. Plata is like another way of saying money. Estudias, ¿ok? Yes. Todos los fines de semana. ¿Quién compra? For everybody is third person, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién compra? ¿Ok? Ok, now, yes. Pick two questions for me. Oh, sorry. Where did it go to? Um, e... <clears throat> there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, Chi, um, ¿cuántas veces por semana lees un libro? Um, le leo un libro todos los días. Oh, yeah. I don't. <laughs> the next? Uh, Michelle, um, let's see. Um, ¿Cuál restaurante comemos esta noche? Um, ¿Dónde come? Uh, uh, el restaurante. Um, nombre um, Uncle Julio's. Uh, uh, ¿En dónde está Uncle Julio's? Uh, está Chicago. ¿En qué parte? Al Lincoln Park. Ah, Lincoln Park. Park. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. ¿Tú vives en Lincoln Park o no? Uh, River North. Ah, River North. Yeah. Muy bien. Okay, perfecto. 
Ahora vamos a seguir con la clase 5. Mm. We saw regular, right? Regular mm -hmm. verb. So now we're going to see semi regular. And for that, let's see some vocabulary. So, to buy is comprar. 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 Repeat with me: comprar. Comprar. Okay, to care, take care of a child is cuidar. 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 To fly es volar, 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 ya, yeah. so, comprar, 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 cuidar, 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 y viajar, 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 viajar. viajar. Okay, so ¿Cuál Michelle... es volar? Oh, sorry, volar. Viajar es to travel. Oh, okay. Volar. Volar es to fly, yes. Volar. So, Michelle, how you say to buy? Comprar. Mm -hmm. mm, how you say to care for, Claudia? Cuidar. And to fly, she? Volar. Okay, to wait es esperar. Esperar. Esperar means to wait or to hold. So, es -pe -dar. esperar. Esperar. Yeah. Esperar. So, Michelle, esperar. 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 Claudia. Esperar. Yeah. Ichi. Esperar. Correcto. To think, oh, here is what to think. Pensar. 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 To think. Y to ask for, like the kitty cat is doing, to ask for is pedir. 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 Correcto. Pedir. So, esperar, 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 pensar, pensar, pensar pedir, pedir. Okay, so let's do it again. So, Michelle, how you say to wait or hope for? Um, esperar. Correcto. And to think, Claudia. Um, pensar. And to ask for? Pedir. Now you can read it. So, comprar, cuidar, volar, esperar, pensar y pedir. Pedir means to ask for altogether. So, you will say pedir dinero, to ask for money. Pedir also means to order, actually. Like pedir comida. It's like to order food. Pedir comida. Okay, let's go back to this. Everybody, every, somebody knows how to say apple. Manzana. Muy bien, manzana. Clothes. Ropa. Ropa. Banana. 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 So, manzana. Manzana. Ropa. Ropa is for many clothes too. It doesn't exist ropa. No. Okay. So, ropa and banana. 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 So now, um, autobús is the bus. Autobús. 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 Carro for car. Carro. Carro. Carro y familia. 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 Mm. Michelle. Manzana. 
Claudia. Ropa. Mm, sí. Banana. Michelle. Autobús. Muy bien. Claudia. Caro. Uh -huh. Y Chi. Familia. Correcto. So you see manzana, ropa, banana, autobús, carro or auto. I say auto, but that's in South America. Carro is like they say in Mexico. And, mm -hmm. and familia. Okay. So. So then we're going to see the regulars in the press. So first, let's go to my notes. And we said before that so the verbs in infinitive are AR. They finish in AR. And IR. E yeah, ER and IR. Right? They all finish the same way, the verbs in infinitive. And we also say that if the stem or the root doesn't change how they are called, the ones that we saw last class, how regular? they are called, regular verbs, correctly. And this time we're going to see irregular verbs, but they change in the root. So that's why they are called stem changing verbs, because they, tend, they change on the stem, okay? That's what we're gonna see today. So now um, you know, to, we're gonna see how they change to L. So, so, okay. so let's see. Uh, sorry, this not. How does it change? So, and which one doesn't change? So please look, take a look at this, this, and this, and tell me how does it change the root? How is it changing? Adding an I. Hmm? Adding an I. Muy bien, you add the I, you see? E or E, -E right? Mm. And excepto? Excepto en nosotros. Correcto. Okay, that's the rule of the stem changing verbs. Like it changed the stem. Well, in this case, the first pattern is E for I, E, except for nosotros. And in each stem changing, it's always the except nos exception is nosotros, okay? So, for example, let's do cerrar means to close. So, I. And Cerrar. I was finding weird why it's like, it's in here, your notes. Okay. So cerrar, in this case, cerrar, right? Which means to close. Close. Let me do it bigger so you can see, guys. Cerrar is to close. So, and how does it change? It changed this E, right? This thing. To IE, right? So I'm going to put the same thing here. I'm going to just add an I. IE. What was the ending of the AR? The ending is the same. So what was the ending with AR? Yo? Oh. 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 Correcto. Oh. Two? Yes. L? Um, the pito no. Entonces, yo cierro, tú cierras, el yes. cierra, okay. nosotros cerramos. Correcto. Cerramos. Correcto, you see, it doesn't change. Y ellos? Cierran. Cierran. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else we have here? We have querer. What does it mean querer? We saw that. To want, remember? 
Mm-hmm. Querer es to want. Ay, sorry. And sugerir to suggest. Sugerir means to suggest. So, su ge Okay, so you're going to do me a favor now. Are you on the sheet? Can you come back to this sheet, your sheet? So we're going to do an exercise. Michelle, Chi, and Claudia. Oh. And Claudia. So I'm going to need you to check, to follow the same pattern. It change E to IE. And you always, always change the last vowel of the stem, okay? follow the same. Remember that ends in ER and IR, so it has a different ending, right? So respect that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Michelle, it also changed in ellos. So oh, careful yeah. here. Oh, yeah. I meant to do that. Because here. She? Yeah. Here is like the ending is not. Oh, es. I think the autocorrect. Yeah. Muy bien. Mm. Claudia ends in ER. Okay. IR. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, muy bien de emo. Here the ending, Michelle. It's with A, except for nosotros, remember the IR. Oh, es e. imos. Es e imos. Here. Okay. For the IR, is it still S or e? ES or IS? Where? IR? Yes. No, it's. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, now this is fine, but this is still, remember, oh, with okay. IR. And here, remember, you have to, for, it's except nosotros only. What are you missing in here? Uh, I. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Yeah. So, yeah. Correct. So, very good. So, now what I'm going to help you to pronounce a little bit is sugerir. The rest, I think, you'll be fine. 
So, yo os voy a sugerir, yo os voy a take this down to the main notes. So, eh, ok, so, yo sugiero, all together, yo sugiero, yo sugiero, tú sugieres, tú sugieres, 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 Imagine this is an age for you. Sugieres. Instead of a, yeah, sugieres. El sugiere. El sugiere. Nosotros sugerimos. Nosotros sugerimos. Ellos sugieren. Ellos sugieren. Yep. Muy bien. So, Michelle, about yourself. Uh, yo sugiero. El uh, el su, uh, sugieres. Muy bien. Um, er, two, I should say sugieres. El sugiere. Um, nos nosotros su, nosotros sugeramos. Sugerimos. Su, 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 sugerimos. Sugerimos. Ya. Yeah. Uh, ellas uh, sugieren. Correcto, Claudia. Um, yo sugiero, tú sugieres, um, él sugiere, nosotros sugerimos, ellos sugieren. Muy bien, sí. Yo sugiero, tú sugieres, él sugiere, nosotros sugiere, nosotros sugerimos, um, ellos sugieren. Okay. Now, like I always do, girls, I always put, you know, the pattern E to IE, and then I gave you the most important verbs that you have to study with regards to this. In this case, just focus on querer and sugerir. Cerrar for now is not going to be more. And then obviously focus on the ones that I put you in here. So I want you to be able to obviously be able to conjugate that and remember the meaning. So empezar, it means to start, okay? Pensar, you know already, right? Pensar, what does it mean? To think, to think. Then preferir, uh, preferir is to prefer. And then, I sorry. Preferir es to prefer, and let's see if I'm missing something. Empezar, entender, preferir, entender, I'm missing. And entender means to understand. Have you ever heard, like, no entiendo? Have mm -hmm. you ever heard that word? Like, it comes from that, the E, I, to I, E. And then, and then, there. So please do that for me. I'm gonna copy for the rest of this easier. I need you to conjugate and maybe put the, meaning next to it so you know because we're gonna be able we're gonna be talking about this remember we finished the class talking so I need you to start getting familiar with the meaning of these ones. So hold on sorry I'm gonna copy it for everybody. Are those the irregulars or are those irregular? It's the same pattern that we've seen here. It's the same okay. pattern of E2IE. Okay that you have to take in account. There's more, but this is the most important at your level and the ones that we're gonna be talking about. So yes, yeah, this is the stem changing. So, stem changing, stem changing, changing, E to I, E. Yeah, this. So yeah, there you have. Hmm. Yeah, you have the same. So E to I E. Hmm. Okay. Here and here. There. 
And always remember if the last vowel of the stem that changes. If there's more than one vowel, that will happen. Oh, I'm gonna put the heater up, so cold. Okay. Is it cold in New York? Uh, not, it warmed up. It's like in the 30s or 40s. Wow, you know where we are? Um, yeah, I talked to my mom yesterday. You guys are like in the negatives. Yes. <laughs> and tomorrow, so it's gonna be like eight, no, less, eight Fahrenheit on two minimum. Yeah, I saw in Milwaukee on Thursday, it's gonna be like negative 11. No. Wow. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Sí. Muy bien. Sí. Uh oh. <laughs> Chi, mm -hmm. what is this? Are you inventing this R? Oh, I don't know either. <laughs> Muy bien. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, girls, you got it. Cool. Just need to add the end. Well, yeah, you got it. Okay, you just have to know the meaning. Nobody put the meaning. I put it, but I. I didn't finish yet. Oh, one more. Mm. Yeah. Putting it down there on accident. <laughs> And then that was to understand, Michelle. And empezar to start. Or, or to begin, yeah. I guess, guys, don't you think in English to begin is a little more formal than to start? Yeah. Empezar, sorry, is more to start then. No. And to so begin, like, that is a little more formal, is comenzar. But that's what I didn't when I included. Sorry, I'm going to just change it to start here. That was my mistake. And to begin, is more comenzar. Yeah. Okay, now let's see other pattern, right? This is a stem changing pattern. The first one was that. Let's see the second one. How about this? Remember, except for nosotros, because the stem changing bears always work the same way. But this time changes differently. And how? I'm sharing it with you. How, how does it change? O for U E. Correct. O so this type of verb change O for U E. Always except for nosotros. So mostrar is to show, volver to return, and dormir to sleep. So I guess mostrar, I'm just gonna use it for example purpose, but I prefer you to focus on volver for sure to study and dormir. So I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. I'm gonna just put another title here because these are all the same pattern. 
So uh, hold on. I'm going to steal it from Michelle, the rest. So in notes, it keeps the, the origin or what I want you to study. Okay. Not that. Okay, so this, all of this follow E to IE, right? So now the rest is gonna be, all of that are gonna follow O to UE. O to UE. And it's gonna be mostrar, which does it means to show, volver, which it means to return. Probably you're familiar with the other one that is regresar, have you ever, Mexicans mm -hmm. use it at all, okay. But volver is valid too, it means to return. And then dormir, which is very important, to sleep. Don't you feel sleepy more in this weather? I don't know, is it just me? I do. Yeah. Okay, después. So, entonces, how you think this is gonna go? So, mues, give me the endings, they are o, o, a, a, uh, uh, um, vamos um, and on. Correct. So it's O por U E U E U E. So same. Muestro, muestra, muestra, except nosotros. So, mostramos. Correct. So what do you think I'm going to tell you to do? The other two, which are important. So Michelle. You go to your sheet here. Ugh. There, Michelle, she, blah, here, and Claudia. Do please for me and um, volver and roll me, please. Also, I'm going to give you a nice title to you girls here if you want to study or print it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how you're doing. Muy bien, vuelvo, vuelvo. Bueno, entonces, good girls, very good. Okay, perfecto. Okay, now you got done. So, well, 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 this warm all warning. Oh, yeah. Well, now let's see if we have another one. And yes, we have almorzar. Okay, almorzar means to each lunch. So, almorzar. Then you have poder is to be able to. Poder. Ay. It's like saying I can, you can in English. Poder. Then, mm, ah, soler is to be accustomed to. So, for example, yo suelo 
hacer ejercicio en la mañana. So I'm accustomed to, I'm used to do exercise in the morning. Okay. Subí. I don't know if I'm writing it well, but accustomed to be used to. So leer and then soñar, volar. Soñar means to dream. So, soñar, to dream. Y volar, remember we saw it today. What is volar? To fly. To fly, yeah. Volar. Okay. Same, please. Until you get used to it. So these are the same O to U E? Yes, yes, yes. Has the same pattern. And please plus the meaning on so you remember to fix it. What is poder and soler? Sorry? Poder and soler. Uh, poder is- To be able uh, to. To be able to. And soler, to be used to our custom to. Okay, Michelle, you're missing something in this too. The R maybe. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> I need my glasses, I think. <laughs> okay. And you are missing here something, Claudia. Oh, sorry. Oh. Me? Oh, where? Me? I hear this different. Oh, this one is mine. Oh, that's cheese. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oops. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Do you guys figure out how to put in Spanish your computer or no? How do you do that? So do you have a Mac or a PC? Mac. Okay. So you go to system preferences and then you go to keyboard and then you go to input resources. Okay. And you just add here, you see, Spanish. And then once you, like you have it, it should appear, at least it appeared to me at the top, here you see at the top, where it has like either US flag, or oh, it's gonna appear no. to you in here. Oh, I think and I did it already actually, I just didn't select Spanish. And then you select Spanish, and then when you go to, oh no, I'm gonna show you just the keyboard. Mac keyboard images and then well I have a black one but so the any is right next to this one this is the any okay. right um, and then an accent oh, yeah and then the accent is like hold on let me see the accent is right next to the P. So you click this and then you oh. click O and it has an accent. Oh, okay. got it. Those are the two most important. How do you get that? Oh, I got it. Never mind. Okay. No, it's not working. Yeah, it's right next to the L. Do you have it too or no? I'm trying to add it right now. It added Spanish, but then when I click on the top, it's not there. Oh, wait, I see, I see. It. You see? So, okay. I have it. Okay, cool. Bueno, muy bien. The rest is fine, girls. Okay, volamos, bailan. Muy bien. Cool. To fly and to dream. This is dream, Michelle. To, no, <laughs> to be able to. to. You need to put su soler, almorzar, to fly. Soñar is to dream. No, no, no. And she. Soñar is to dream. To be able to is poder. Oh. Dream. Muy bien. Okay. Cool. Now we have it. Um, and now, okay, now you see here I put 
jugar. Jugar es to play. And this is the only verb that changes, you see, you to the UE. is the only one. So jugar es yo juego, tú juegas, él juega, nosotros jugamos, y ellos juegan. Okay? It's the only one that changes like that. So with me, yo juego. Repeat. Yo juego. Yo juego. Tú juegas. Tú juegas. Él juega. Él juega. Nosotros jugamos. Nosotros jugamos. Ellos juegan. Ellos juegan. Correct. So, very good. Okay. That's you to you e. And then we'll see the last one, the last same changing verb. Which will be, you want to tell me, here, here. How is it changing? The E for, for on. And then the, yeah. E for I. The E for an I, okay. Entonces, servir. Pedir, reír y seguir. Entonces, servir, what does it mean? ¿Saben? ¿Hm? Serve. Muy bien, serve. Entonces, yo, right, sirvo. Sirvo. To serve. What has it been pedir? We saw in the vocabulary. Hmm? Pedir. To ask for, remember? The little cat. Mm. The cat asking for or to order. Mm. Y reír is to laugh. Okay. And then the other two that I want you to know, besides these ones, is... Um, Seguir and that's it, seguir. Seguir means to continue or to follow, but don't do seguir yet because I'm going to teach you something before we do that. Seguir. Okay, but please work in this one, E to IE. Reír means to laugh. So please work in this one. Oh, you work in this one and put the meaning. And if you had to look for it, do it, if you don't remember. E for I. Also pedir means to order, like in a restaurant or by phone.
Ya. Muy bien. Ok, perfecto. Ok, now that we have this, I'm explain you something else. So, seguir. You had servir, right? And now, seguir, guys. Oh, did you put the meaning? Yes. Sí. Muy bien. Yeah, muy bien, you put the meaning. Okay, now, seguir means to continue doing something or still, like you, you, in English you say like still doing something or still, you will see why. So guys, you will think, oh, what the heck is this you in here, right? Instead of I R, I'm just adding also a U and you'll see why. So there's something that is called the rule of G. The rule of G says, that's what I don't like to teach the alphabet because every time it changes depending on, it really changes depending on the, which consonant and vowel are together for the pronunciation, especially in this one. So G, so G next to A, next to O and next to U, Sounds like ga, go, go, right? That has a sound like gato, gorilla, right? Or Guatemala, right? Ga, go, go. But in Spanish, we still need the ha, ho, ho for some words, not for this one, but for some words, we need the ha, ho, ho. And how we do that? With a J. The J always sounds like an H from your H in English, right? So, ha, ho, ho, he, he. This always sounds like this, ha, ho, ho, he, he. So, for example, in which case I would need that? For example, elegir. Elegir means to choose. Okay? You see that it has a he sound? And, okay. And then here you have in the other two, A, A, E sounds, G next to A and next to I sounds like gente, right? Or girar, okay? Doesn't sound like this one. So, but like this one, I need still the G and the G sound for some words, okay? So in this case, that's why you have to add an auxiliary U in Spanish, it's called an auxiliary U, in order to make it sound like G. That's why the U is there, okay? So it makes it sound like G or G. Like for example, guerra, which means war, and guitarra, which means guitar. Same in English, right? You don't say guitar, you say guitar. Guitar, right? So, okay, but in both things, there's a problem. So that's why we have our seguir in here. And what is the seguir here? Seguir. And elegir. Elegir. I'm going to do this down, but then you're going to work on it. So here, elegir and seguir. So seguir, in this case, guys, it has, you see this U, 
this is the auxiliary you to make it sound like gear, right? Because I need that you. This word is not the here. This word is the gear. So, and in Spanish, different than English. I feel like in English, or the oral part is not necessarily the authority. Sometimes it's written differently. Yeah, you're pronouncing it. But in Spanish, everything that you say, it has to be, I don't know, somehow represented in the way that you write stuff. So that's why all these things come in handy. And that's why you have to put this auxiliary you. So in order for the word seguir, which first was created orally, not written, and you have to put that you there so it sounds like good, okay? And the reason why I put it at the end and not in the stem, because it's not an irregularity. And a spelling change verb is like the word says, it changed the spell, the spelling, not the spell. It changed the spelling so I can pronounce it correctly. So that's why this one is also E to I and elegir is also E to I. So it follows the same pattern that we're studying. Okay? Entonces, sig, right? So I had to do the same we're doing. Sig, seg, sig, right? Okay, now give me the endings for an IR verb that you've been working on. O, S, E, Imos, M, right? Okay, I need a good sound, right? The gear, right? Yo sigo, does it follow, like, does it follow the good sound? Yeah. But here, no, right? Here it says the gear, the sigue, sorry. Yes. So it has to do the same that it's doing in here, right? I had to add this U, so mm -hmm. sigue, sigue, mm -hmm. seguimos, y siguen. And actually that U is in the actual also verb in infinity, so O, S, E. So the only regularity is the E to I in here. Now let's put the thing that has the opposite problem. Instead of say the G sound, here I need the what? The G sound, because it's elegir. Elegir means to choose, okay? To choose. So here I have the other problem. So it's G sound, okay? So same, it changes the same, a leg, right? A leg, 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 a leg, and a leg. Now, give me the ending for IR. O, S, E, E, Imos, N, right? And, okay, so what is the problem in the first one? How does it sound? Does? Exactly, it sounds illegal. What I need, right? I need a who sound. And remember what I told you? With a J, everything's like, so the way that they solve it, the spelling change thing in this case, they put it with a J, okay? So they take out the G, right? Take it out and add a J to it. So use transfer to a lich. Sorry. See, a lich, sorry. A, El, sorry, el, 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 Entonces, el, 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 es yo elijo, ¿ok? Elijo. Let me, it wasn't supposed to be changed there, sorry, it was supposed to change here. Elijo, what about this one? Eliges. It follows the same, so I don't have to do anything, right? Eliges, elige, elegimos, and eligen. So the only thing that it changed is the spell e, e for I. Elijo, eliges, elige. Do you understand the spelling change? Sí or no? Okay. Being said that, seguir, I like it to study more than elegir, unless you choose things often. But this one, I like to use it because if you add 
an ing to this word seguir it is converted to a still like in english so for example sigo what was the ing of comer Mm, de comer. Comiendo. Muy bien, comiendo. En sin ir, ir, right? What about vivir? What is the ing of vivir? Viviendo. Viviendo. The ing of estudiar. Estudiando. Muy bien, estudiando. The ing of vivir, estudiar, comer. Sigues, and what else you can do? Hacer. Haciendo. Haciendo, right? Okay, why? Look at this. Look at if I ask, uh, tú sigues, right? Estudiando español, meaning, are you, are you still, you see, studying Spanish also means to catch up. So that's what I like it. Do you remember the other one? Uh, tú estás, right? Estás estudiando ah, yeah. español, but you had to add it últimamente, right? Remember? But in here, I can say, like, when you told me, I don't know, a month ago, that estoy estudiando español últimamente, or something you are doing. Now, a month later, I ask you, to see, you know, are you still studying Spanish? ¿Tú sigues estudiando español? Or whatever, ¿sigues trabajando en tu casa? Are you still working from home, right? So this is useful to catch up. That's what I like. It. And that comes in handy when you're using present tense. And so elegir is to choose, but I feel like when I'm gonna use it that much, or at least remember we're studying present tense, things that you do in a what? In a regular basis, right? So this is gonna come more handy when you're asking questions or talking to a friend. Or for example, I don't know, and she sigues viviendo in New York? Sí. Mm. You know, I'm like, I don't see you in a while, so we're catching up, right? Okay, entonces, that's why you see, I like it. Or, por ejemplo, Michelle, ¿sigues haciendo ejercicio? Sí. Sí. So, yo sigo, right? Yo sigo. Haciendo ejercicio. Right? Right? Yes. Okay, so cool. So now let's come back to our grammar. I was just, I need to explain you that. So let's come back to our grammar and I need you girls to finish with these two, right? Seguir and elegir. Uh, por favor. And put the meaning, right? You're gonna need it for later. Yeah, por favor. Michelle, mm -hmm. G next to O, how does it sound? I. Sigo. Sounds go, right? Sigo. Mm -hmm. So why you put in the U there? Oh, sigo. Oh, okay. Exactly. Just you don't need it, right? Okay. But you might need it later.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Muy bien. Ok, chicas. So, do you finish? Ok. No, no, no. Okay. 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 How about this one? How does it sound if you don't change it here? The legal. 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 Yeah. So you need to change what this G for. U-E? No, for the J. Oh, J. L because then it will sound like, right? El hijo. El hijo. Yeah, it has the opposite problem than this one. Than this one. Here you need the G, and here you need the G, you know? El hijo. That's why, look, that's why here you don't change it, because you need the G, G sound, so C goes fine. But here you don't need the go sound, you need the ho sound. So that's why you change it to J. I choose el hijo. Do you get it, Michelle? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so girls, so now that we know the meaning a little bit, you have to study, of course, a little bit, but let's do some questions then, right? So um, that's a lot of verbs. So Let's do the statement and um, questions verbs. So, for example, um, I'm going to use important verbs of each stem changing. Let's see, for example, in two and What does it mean, seguido, remember, girls? Um, still? Often. Oh, oh often. Sorry. You see, this U is the auxiliary U. If no, it will be seguido. You see that? Seguido. Okay. Then, and then, let's see another one that I want. Mm -hmm. Where are you, Chi? Mm -hmm. She got cut off class. <laughs> no, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to ask Claudia. ¿Tú pides comida por teléfono seguido? Um, do I order food 
on the telephone often. Sí. Um, o por una app, whatever. I don't know how you're doing. No pido comida a uh, en teléfono. Por teléfono. Por teléfono. Seguido. Nunca. <laughs> ah. Ok. A ver, en, ahora, eh, Michelle, ¿tú sueles hacer ejercicio por las mañanas? Sueles y vos tú en a casa. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I suel, uh, suelo hacer uh -huh. ejercicio esta noche. Por la noche. In, I'm asking you in general. When are you accustomed to do exercise? Uh -huh. So, uh, are you accustomed to do exercise in the morning or when you are when are you accustomed to? Um, so, suelo. no suelo, no suelo hacer ejercicio uh, por las mañana. Muy bien. Tú sueles hacer ejercicio por las tardes o noches. Right? Sí. Okay. And and Chi, ¿tú duermes bien a la noche? No. Duerme, uh, no duermo. No duermo bien a la noche. Oh, lo siento. Okay. WH question. And so, por ejemplo, and ¿qué? Hold on. ¿Qué, cómo, cuándo, right? And so, mm, mm. and, okay. Entonces, Michelle, ¿cuándo sueles hablar con tu compañero, con tu intercambio? de idioma. Uh, when? So, cuando, okay, so suelo hablar con tu, uh, or mi intercambio, mi mm -hmm. intercambio de idiomas, uh, to, uh, todos los martes. Wow, cool, every night. Oh, no. Martes, Tuesdays. <laughs> okay, dos veces por semana. Okay, dos veces, dos veces por, por semana. semana. Okay. And Claudia, ¿a qué hora almuerzas regularmente? Like regularly. ¿Qué hora? Or usually, or usualmente, either or worse. Uh, what time do I eat lunch? Yeah. Um, usually or regularly. Um, uh, so eat is comer, com, como? No, yo almuerzo. Ah, yo, I, oh, uh, yo almuerzo, um, uh, uh, and I'm trying to translate 12 o'clock. Uh, A las 12. A las 12. Regularmente. Um, yeah, sí. Ok. Sí. ¿Cuándo puedes venir a mi evento de los jueves? So, when can I come to your. Sí. Los jueves. On Thursday? Sí. Um, no puedes. No, yo no. Oh, yo no. Puedo. Yo no puedo venir. Ir, because you're not there. Ah, sí, ok. So, yo no puedo ir tu evento. ¿Por de... qué? <laughs> um, mi clase. Uh, I don't know how, how you say. 
I have class. Single class. Single class. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. And um, Michelle, uh, tu, uh, tienes un novio? Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, fiance. Oh, fiance, okay. Mm -hmm. In Espanol, is it still boyfriend though? Is it? Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like novio mm -hmm. or esposo. There's not a middle. Okay, I mean, no, you no. can say, you can say, mi prometido, prometido es fiance, but it sounds like, I don't know, very formal. Okay. Sounds like, you know, we have fiance, I don't know how you say fiance like that. Yeah. It's a French word, I think, right? Novio? Yeah, novio is like. Novio. Novio. Oh, no, novio. Yeah. Actually, a bride, you know, the bride is novia. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Novio is the, yeah, it's like the same. So, and, okay. ¿Cuántas veces por semana sueñas con tu novio? So, how many, or how many times per week do you sueñas? Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, but so it says sueñas, sueño, yo, yo, yeah, so yo, yo sueño, um, con mi, say, mi novia, or mi, mi novio, unless it's a novia, mi novio, um, todos los noches, ah, every night, <laughs> muy bien, and, Okay, eh, vamos a ver a Claudia. En Claudia, ¿dónde quieres, dónde quieres, eh, no, cuántas veces por semana quieres hacer ejercicio? Um. Quiero hacer ejercicio um, tres veces por semana. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Tres uh, o tres, cuatro veces. Muy bien. And... Ok. Um, sí. ¿Cuántas veces por semana sugieres comer vegetales? Um, so, how many times a week do I cook vegetables? Do you suggest to eat vegetables? Ah, uh, sí. Um, okay, so, sugiero comer vegetales todos los días. Muy bien. Muy bien. So girls, guess what? Give me, we don't have that much time, but give me, write it down. Write down one with W-O-H, one with statement and one, so three. Three with any verb. So you can check in the notes all the verbs. Just pick three verbs, but one for each type of question though. And for your classmates. And maybe we get to answer them. We can stay a little bit if not to finish it.
done. Hmm. No, this is the future. I need a marker of time that is in a regular basis. Oh. That means tonight. Tonight. See, where do you write your questions? On the top, next to the, um, like, and then scroll to the side, next to, and then all the way. Ah, this is. Oh. You need one more. Yeah, I didn't finish it. What are you trying to ask here, Claudia? Sorry, how many times a week do you eat vegetables for lunch? So you eat vegetables, so you don't need the seeds. Still do something. Oh. Mm -hmm. por semana, so you need to conjugate, comes. But comer is a regular verb, so I need another thing. Okay. If I wanted to say like, okay, I, I don't think it's right, but I wanted to say like, what is making you laugh lately? Sí, pero es make you laugh, we haven't seen it yet. ¿Qué te, I'm oh, sorry. Sí, ¿qué te hace reír? So, we haven't seen it yet. Okay. okay. No, can you check? ¿Qué sueñas? Ah, por las noches, then. Okay, so Michelle, ask your questions, please, to your class. Okay, sí. ¿Cuándo almuerzas entre semana? Almuerzas. No almuerzas entre semana. Entre semana. So. What is cuando? When? When, when? Do I, when do I eat lunch during the week? Yeah. Okay, so, um, almuerzo and uh, 1 p.m. A la, a la una de la tarde. A la una de la tar tarde entre semana. Correcto. Correcto. Okay. So, um, next. Uh, Claudia, ¿cuándo vuelas por vacaciones? When you fly for vacation. Sorry. ¿Cuándo vuelo uh, por vacaciones en junio? En junio. En junio. Yo vuelo mm -hmm. por vacaciones en junio. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Next. Uh, chi, pues, uh, sueñas por las noches? Um, ¿Qué sueñas por las noches? What is sueños again? To dream. Sí. Uh, no sueño for last noche. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cla eh, chi. Okay. Okay. Um, Claudia. Per, yeah. per, per es, can you help me pronounce it? Per fieres. Prefieres. Prefieres. Pre, pre, like pre, pre, or is it pre, pre. Did I spell it wrong? Is it? Oh, sorry. I'm, where are you? Claudia, she. 
No, eh, ah, no, ya, yeah, está wrong. Prefieres. Okay. Prefieres. Prefieres pollo o carne para almor almorzar. Correcto. Um, prefiero uh, vegetales. Yo uh, para almorzar. Muy bien. So, I have a question for um para or por. So is is para for is para both, they both mean for and we're gonna okay. see that later. Okay. It had a lot of differences in you, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Michelle, cuántas veces por semana puedes comer en un restaurante? Puedo um dos veces um, comer en un restaurante. Okay. That's all my questions. The other one is not. Ah, ya. Yeah. ¿De qué ríes últimamente? Okay. And, and Claudia, I think you are next. Mm. Um, chi, ¿Tú sueles cocinar en la casa? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are so you accustomed to? Yeah, I keep forgetting that one. Okay, so suelo cocinar. Si, sí, suelo cocinar en la casa. Correcto. Um, Michelle, ¿dónde eliges um, comer <laughs> por Valentine? Elgias. Elgias, to choose, remember? To choose. To choose, okay. Uh, when when do you choose? Where, where do you choose? Where do you choose uh, to eat for Valentine's Day? Sí. Um, okay, so, uh, yo elejo, 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 um, comer um, un restaurante de Italian. Italiano. Italiano? Sí. Muy bien. Yeah. Oh, what are you trying to say? What do you suggest to have to cook for oh. lunch? Yeah. So, ¿qué sugieres? Seguir okay. es tu continuo. Yeah. Oh. ¿Qué sugieres? Yes. Cocinar. I get or... confused by those two. <laughs> It's okay, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> ¿Qué sugieres yes. cocinar por el almuerzo? Okay. So is it el almuerzo? Is it because it's masculine? It's a noun. Okay. Oh, it's a noun. Okay. Um, sí. ¿Qué sugieres cocinar por el almuerzo? Sugiero cocinar la oh el quesadilla quesadillas mm -hmm. muy bien yeah. um, okay so, y qué más something else no I was just gonna say por el almuerzo 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 so for homework you wanna do me a favor besides doing the sentences like I always tell you to do like is this for homework is the same thing and but you see so you know with all of the so do three maybe three right um but i would like you to study you know the vocabulary if you know what i mean like of these verbs right and um, because right when you mm -hmm. ask the questions and stuff I need you to understand, right? Who here is? I know we just saw it, so it's just too much information, but when you are more calm, you can just do maybe flashcards, you know, with this, mm -hmm. these verbs. So it will help, I think, you know, too. Okay. And then the more you practice speaking with them, the more you get used to the, you know, the pronunciation and the, you see, piensa, vuelves, the more you ask questions, the more you remember the conjugation. 
Ok. Está bien. Ok, that is for all. Thank you so much. And I will see you for sure next Saturday. And you stay warm. <laughs> you too. <laughs> ok. Ok, thank you guys. I recorded the class too, so I can send you that too. Ok, great. Ok. okay.